Hello, welcome to another small video presentation of my, of my newest and latest pottery. I'm Paul Cattridge and I will shortly be offering these pieces for sale at the show place in New York and also through the direct mechanism of my uh, website, which uh, obviously you're looking at right now or you wouldn't be seeing these videos. I wanted to describe some of these pieces visually. I've got some very nice new things and it's been a while since we've had some new pieces out there uh, and I'm very proud of these, so I hope that you'll enjoy them as much as I do. The piece that I'm holding is sort of a is a very dense, volcanic, interesting pot that has a lot of visual power. It's sort of a landscape seen from a great height with blues, greens, and teals, iridescent mossy greens. It looks it looks like the earth's seen from, from a distance, perhaps an Irish landscape. It is a very nice classical flow about it, but the piece has got everything that you could want in a compact little pot. It's quite precious and I'm proud of it beautiful iridescent flash inside that hopefully the camera can catch. It's one of my favorites amongst this new batch and it's a very successful piece and if, you, if you've been inter, inter, interested in acquiring a piece of this nature from me I don't think you'll find a better one for the price. The next piece I'll pick up is one of my lovely precious reds. As I've said many times before, and most potters and the antique dealers can, 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 can assure you of, reds, yellows, and oranges are, of, of, of beauty are the, high, are the most difficult pots, pot colors and glaze colors for a potter to achieve. They're always very, very unstable, and especially when you get into iridescent colors, which is, which is the nature of this piece. I'm a great admirer of the uh, of the uh, 19th century potter Hugh Cornwall Roberts Robertson and the Dedham potteries, and this piece is sort of a little bit of an homage to him. In fact, I've been looking at it, I've been noticing it. It looks, it reminds me a little bit of some of the uh, patented works by uh, arts and crafts era metal workers like Dirk Van Erp. It has sort of that quality. That wasn't the intention in the making, but it sort of reflects that. It looks almost like an apple or some other kind of uh, exotic vegetable, a pomegranate perhaps. And there are little flashes of iridescence all over a heavily encrusted surface. It's a very interesting pot and again with a glorious flash of iridescence on the interior. Nicely held in the hand. The third pot of this installment is sort of a glaze ab abstraction. It suggests natural forms and there, there's, a, there's a beautiful scarlet iridescent red flying next to a uh, a, I don't know, a, 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 almost an, an ultraviolet, dark blue, over which is a lot of volcanic incrustation flowing. I've been told that it, it reminds people of something aquatic, and I could see it as sort of being under sea life, but it's sort of a little glazed fantasy. I, it's vaguely natural, but I leave it to you to impart exactly what it is it, 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 it depicts. It's got some, it's got a, it's got a real visual pop and power to it, and I think, I think for the right person, this is going to be a very appealing pot. Again, a very nice interior. All of these seem to have, uh, sometimes the kiln gives me this as a special gift, this beautiful ruby flash on the inside, and it's, a, it's sort of an extra gift with purchase. And the third pot, fourth pot in our installment. I was out walking one night in the, in the, in the nearby area, as we are blessed with living next to a, next to a, a, a nature area and a, and, a, and a lovely lake, and there was a beautiful, bright, yellow full moon, and as large and as yellow and as, and as perfect as a full moon as, as I've ever seen. And it sort of stuck in my head, and I like to try to take personal experiences and turn them into pottery. And of course, there are many different uh, saffron orbs around the pot, but uh, there, it's sort of, there's the, I, I'm sort of, fixing the moon and in different in different places in the sky as, as the evening was progressing as I went out to look at it time and again. And there are little sort of iridescent prints of prints of color and volcanic all over the all over the surface of the peeps for the purpose of sort of reflecting stars or galaxies, little swirls. It has a little bit of a sort of Van Gogh quality to it. I mean, I'm not comparing myself to Vincent Van Gogh, but I've loved his paintings since I was a little boy and the, probably the first painter I ever became seriously aware of. And if it if it has any 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 bit of that uh, sort of ethos about it, I'm happy with it indeed. The bright copper interior. It's a nice silk and matte glaze. It feels very nice on the hand. It's something that uh, it just it's uh, I, I'm I've really gotten these matte glazes to a to a state of to a state of something approaching perfection now, and uh, I've been using them a lot more, and I'm I'm pleased with this result. Uh, here's a powerful, compact little piece, but boy, has this got a lot going on on it. 
I was looking at some photographs from a, and it was a calendar, I think, uh, of some of, of waterfalls and water features somewhere in the somewhere in South in South America, and there was a picture, a lovely picture of water waters cascading over 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 rocks and a, from a great height. This isn't a copy of the photograph, but I like the I, I was I had this sort of waterfall idea in my mind, and the pot is the result of that. It's a uh, very densely volcanic crater type crater type variety glaze. There's lapis lapis midnight blue, deep deep turquoise like a pool of water, all dripping with iridescent gold and iridescent matte matte silk and gold, copper inside. Really a gorgeous pot, and, and everything that you, if, if you've been looking for an example of my work, I mean, for a compact, affordable piece, this has got everything that you could possibly want in one spot. I, I, don't, I don't discriminate with the pots. I, I try to put as much time and effort in a, in a miniature or a cabinet vase or, you know, a mid-sized piece like this as I would in one of the large, you know, large themed pieces, and I, I wanted this to, this one just really, really worked out well. And the final piece of our current installment is sort of an homage to the American flag. Something, a motif that I have returned to time and again and I never seem to exhaust it because, I don't know, the American flag is beautiful. I'm, uh, we're, we're blessed with a, very, with a very nice country and a very nice flag and uh, whenever, I can e whenever I can use it for something visual, I do. I mean, uh, artists like Jasper Johns, Andy Warhol, uh, uh, the... the uh, American Impressionist child has them. Use the flag for all kinds of purposes, and I haven't even begun to do with with it what I'm likely to. I like the fact that this is this is very abstracted, and I like the fact that it's something between a flag and an aurora borealis. Although it has the red, white, and blue of the flag, and this this deep midnight iridescent midnight blue in between, it could also be an aurora. It could be a, it could be a sort of uh, you know some feature in the sky, galaxies swimming swimming past. It's it's Something between nature and man's work work over nature. You know, I I, I like it. I, I I don't know. Just having flags on a pot would be dull to me. It has to be something. It, I, I like to suggest it, but not just not not be too too specific. And this is is just a, a nice nice piece. I almost kept it for my own collection. I may yet. Plus, it has a nice nice iridescent interior, like all of the others do as well. This is a, just a really good themed example, and uh, it, it would give a lot of visual pop to any collection. I think it was it would, if you are inclined toward the American flag, get it while it's hot. Well, that concludes our installment of this particular video. There, there will be more pots coming periodically to the show place, and uh, you know, we keep keep a, keep a beat on us because I've been working quite diligently. I have a lot of things in process in the studio, and I've, I've been very, very active, and my mind's running in a lot of different directions, more than usual even. So I hope that you enjoy what you've seen here. Please feel free to contact me at any time, although the contact information is, is, uh, is, is attached here on the website, and I'm always happy to talk to you and hear your comments or questions, and I hope that you enjoy these pieces, and I hope that you visit us often. Thank you.